Masters? Uh, I think for me, you got to say Toronto. You know, it's my home race, and uh, it's a race that I've got a lot of a lot of memories from as a fan, as a kid growing up, and then as also as a driver the last couple of years racing there. But uh, for sure, also the 500 this year. There's uh, there's so many good races on our schedule. It's kind of tough to pick just one. I like I like I think the tracks that are the most challenging are the really technical ones. You know, uh, Barber's actually sort of a good example. It's really fast, flowing, long corners, and there's a a lot of places where you need to sort of compromise on on the entry to get the exit right and things like that. Um, and then you know, street courses obviously have their own challenges just because of the walls and you know the track conditions aren't usually that great. So, what's great about IndyCar is we race on all these different types of circuits and they all have their own challenges. Yeah, I, mean, I hope I make it to 100. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But no, it's it's huge, you know, and, and to be part of it, you know, to be there and to witness it, I, I think it's going to be a really special thing. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're hopefully we're there. Hopefully we make the grid and uh, and we can we can add our name to that history book. I'd want to be uh, Dan Weldon in the Delta Force cartoon. I think that's what I'd want. I mean, he's a race car driver. That's a, that's a cartoon character, right? Wow. Um, again, there's so many of those guys to choose from, but uh, you know, you gotta you gotta look at guys like like Rick Mears and uh, and AJ Foyt and and Alistair Senior. You know, those guys are, are three that you certainly still have a big presence in IndyCar, so it's easy for uh, for us to sort of relate them and put them at the top of that list. But at the same time, they're also some of the most accomplished drivers in the sport's history. So I'd say probably probably those three guys the most. You know, it's funny. I mean, I grew up a road course guy, a road and street course guy, there's no doubt. And, you know, there was a phase in my life where I didn't think I ever even wanted to try an oval. And two years now, uh, driving around them in, uh, in Indy Lights, and I'll tell you, that's a tough question to answer because the racing on the ovals is incredible. You know, I've been doing some testing in the off season with, uh, you know, on street courses and road courses, and I just, I'm sitting here, I cannot wait to get back on an oval because it's just so much fun. So I, I, I can't answer that. I can't answer it. I think the biggest challenge this year is just going to be, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a new environment. You know, the tracks are all the same, so, you know, I've got that sort of going for me, but it's, it's obviously, it's a new team, it's a new car, it's a whole new list of procedures, the races are three times as long, there's a lot more coming at you, a lot more information, and a lot more that you have to sort of digest and, and make sense of on the fly when you're out there, and, and I think that's going to be the biggest thing that I'm going to have to, going to have to adjust to. It yes. Successful. <laughs> I've been uh, both on the giving and receiving end of pranks. Yeah, I had one year in particular in 2006 where I had three teammates. And, um, you know, I think we, ra we ranged in age from 19 to 26, and our combined maturity was about a 12 year old. So let's just say it was, uh, it was an interesting year. We had some fun. Yeah, for sure. That's something I'm really looking forward to because I love the development side of things. You know, I'm one of the best parts about being in an IndyCar now is there is room for development. When you're in the junior formula, it's a spec car and there's not a whole lot that you're allowed to do. But I love the technical side of the sport. I've always been big into that. So getting to learn the IndyCar and, and do a bit of development there. And then in 2012, having a whole new car to go play with. And, you know, it's going to be new for all the drivers and new for all the teams. And so hopefully that's an area where, you know, if, uh, if you think you've got good technical feedback and good feel for the car, you can actually uh, get a little bit of an advantage there. I think I won a track and field race when I was in the fourth grade. So I would have been maybe eight years old and this school sort of this inner school running race. And I think I won the hundred meter dash, which is funny. I'm not exactly a tall guy. So <laughs> and in fourth grade, honestly, I mean, I was short even for my class, but that was probably the first thing I ever won. Yeah, I mean, it'd have to be Toronto just because it's my home race. You know, it's uh, just racing there in general is the coolest feeling in the world. And, and I finish on the podium there in, uh, in Indy Lights, but I haven't made it uh, to Winter Circle there. And I did in Edmonton, which was great because it was home soil. But if I could do it in Toronto, it would be incredible.